Hi, it's Colleen from Keeping the Peace and welcome back to another episode of Colleen Answers Your Questions. Today our question comes from Ectoman8 here on YouTube. He's asked other questions in this series, especially in the beginning. I think he had several in the beginning, so hopefully you've seen those. And um, I'm going to give this a minute because his question, ha it's wordy, but I'm going to read the whole thing, so bear with me. I agree this advice is exceptionally good and I would pay you to observe my shooting and help correct my errors if I lived in Kentucky or southeastern Indiana. I've broken myself of the crossed thumb habit and now concentrate on covering as much of the grip as possible by keeping the fingers of my left hand wrapped tightly over the fingers of my right with my thumb side by side and placed as high as possible without touching any of the gun's controls. So it sounds like he's worked on his grip but he has it perfect. It sounds great. In other words, I now appreciate the importance of low bore axis and keeping my grip as high as possible on the gun as I throw my pen. Good. <laughs> Though I regret I do not presently have any photos to send you, I can give a general description of my discouraging targets. Now that the gun I'm using is a full-size Beretta, my tendency to shoot the rounds low and to the left has been lessened slightly, but I'm still getting target pox, wherein there are at least a few rounds in every target quadrant, as though I were simultaneously shooting and sneezing while the stray holes were made. What, what is most aggravating is that I usually get a few rounds, three or four out of uh, 125 rounds, in the center of the target when I fire the first two mags. However, as I continue, my shots get more erratic and ultimately as if an invisible force field is protecting the central circle from penetration. This is frustrating as well as mystifying, of course. My arms and hands are not experiencing fatigue. There's no lactic acid accumulation in my shoulders. I beg your indulgence for the length of the comment, but if my experience can help you rectify similar errors with your actual clients, then I thought you might find these remarks useful. Um, P.S. I focus on my front sight. In fact, I have to remove my glasses to, the, to do that effectively. As far as I can tell, I'm not slapping the trigger. Also, my flinching has been lessened by the reduced recoil and heft of the Beretta, which is an excellent pistol, but I can't, but it can't solve all the shooting problems of its owner. Great question. And if it hadn't been for his PS, my gut reaction is looking at the target, okay? Generally, what you experience when you look at the target rather than your front sight is an erratic placement of rounds. Um, generally, the center is protected and you kind of have a smattering of hits all over the target. Generally, there aren't any hits in the center <laughs> when you're looking at the target. However, he did say he's focusing on his front sight and even taking off his glasses in order to get focus on the front sight. What I would guess is that, that you are looking at your front sight, but at the last second, right before the shot breaks, you're glancing up at the target to see where you hit. That's my guess. And I see a lot of people do that and they think they're looking at the front sight and they are for a moment. But then, as they're pressing the trigger, in that split second, they are actually taking their eyes from the front sight to the target. And in that tiny bit of time, the gun can actually move. And my recommendation for diagnosing and rectifying the situation is to basically pretend like your eyes are peeled back. If you've ever watched, the <laughs> have you ever watched those eye surgeries on YouTube where they have those little clamps in your eyes that are holding your eyes open? <laughs> It's really gross. If you've not seen it, YouTube it, okay? It's, it's awful. But if you can just imagine clamps on your eyes holding your eyes open, okay? And as you press the trigger, talk to yourself about something to slow down your trigger press. And imagine your trigger finger like it's going through some viscous type of liquid, like peanut butter or thick honey or something like that to slow down your trigger press. And force your eyes to stay open until the shot actually breaks and see where your eyes are, okay? Also, something that you can do is videotape yourself and place the video camera at your face. Aim it towards your face to watch what your head and your eyes do because a lot of times what you're doing with your eyes you don't realize because it happens in that split second as you anticipate the shot firing. Some people stare at the front sight so intently but they actually close their eyes when the shot's being broken or when it's being actually fired. And that's part of anticipation of recoil. Pretty much everybody experiences that in some shape or form. But 
I would do both of those exercises and then come back and tell me what you discover because it sounds like some of the time like when you get those certain shots right in the middle you're probably keeping those eyes open and you're probably staying focused on that front sight but maybe maybe there's a little bit of alternation in between the two uh, that's what it sounds like to me it sounds like a tiny bit of anticipation of recoil possibly either averting the eyes to look at the target and see where you hit or closing the eyes all together. So check that out for me. Do the exercise with the whoo like this and do the exercise with a camera pointing at you and watch your face after you get done shooting. And then come back and tell me what you discover in the comments. Then we'll maybe do another episode of this after we learn what you discover um, because if you're not doing any either of those things then we'll hit it from a different angle and if you can take some pictures of your target and send them to me in an email keeping the peace at gmail.com and we'll we'll hit that too in another episode thank you for watching thank you for asking your question and to all of you who are watching thank you and if you have recommendations for him please leave those in the comments also and I appreciate all of you watching and everyone who keeps up with me in this series. It's really fun. And if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Thanks. God bless.